Right, hello and welcome to this update video of where I am with the Revelations Reordered. Okay, so we start this update, it's kind of like a rough draft of um, what I've found so far. And I've, I haven't found stuff that's unequivocal, yes this is it. But I've found enough to keep me going on this uh, little journey of discovery. Right, so I just want to sort of make a quick point about where where the world was before the first trumpet. Now, as I've said in my previous videos, I believe that God kind of has a Christ every thousand years and that the one after Yeshua was Francis of Assisi and uh, he, I believe, didn't die when he said he died, when it said that he died, which is at the age of 40. I believe that he faked his death to get away from the reaches of the Pope and the Catholic Church, and that he is basically who started the Protestant Reformation back in the early 1200s or mid 1200s which then got taken on by others later on uh, including a guy called uh, John Wycliffe who uh, who was in England and at Oxford University and he uh, he wrote the Bible into English um, now, he was supposed to be quite young when he joined Oxford University. Now, I would say that it would be very unlikely that they would get a young student to write the first English copy of the Bible. I mean, one would need a lot of knowledge of uh, uh, the other languages and um, certainly they would need, um, you know, a lot of knowledge about God, which you can't just get... <laughs> quickly so yeah I don't know if he was the student of Merlin um, Francis or if that was actually him himself now uh, he didn't die till 1384 but I don't know that's something I don't know right and what were, what else was going on well we had the Crusades now interestingly here the Crusades uh, the Crusades originally were, you know, going to fight back the Holy Land and ended up being, well, on this fourth crusade, you see, they sacked Constantinople and they were also Christian. And I think this is what, and they also attacked southern France, uh, Christians there who were living, not, you know, quite so holy but probably okay and I think maybe this is what freaked out Francis so much so if you like I don't know <laughs> why did the trumpet start then it's, it's God's plan I guess it's God's plan right so but this is the state of of the world if you like before the first trumpet comes in so I just wanted to say that right so then we get the first trumpet hang on a minute and we've got this guy here King Edward the third now um, he's quite a guy uh, if we and there's a picture of him here he's got his uh, white beard and well he's got a crown his eyes aren't fire and he hasn't got a golden girdle around his his chest but uh, just interesting that it's a white haired king and we've got in these days the uh, the the longbow and and he's he's conquering uh, 
he's conquering France. Right. Which certainly fits with the, the scripture here in the first trumpet. Sorry, I'm faffing about with this freaking software. <laughs> Trying to kill two birds with one stone here. And um, not doing very well. It's just that. Add a couple of pictures here. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna bother reading them. Let's have a look at some bow facts. Oh, stop doing it. The, Mar the English won subsequent victories in Poitiers in 1356 and in Agincourt in 1415 that historians also attribute to the longbow. So sorry, that's after a bit about a major longbow victory. And then there's just saying how there's more longbow victories. <clears throat> and what else have we got here? Um, sorry, so we've just we've just jumped straight into the uh, into the first trumpet there was that there wasn't much of a prelude before um, before that uh, I haven't been looking that much at the history King Edward the third had eyes on the French kingship and it led to the hundred years war look at that so he doesn't so he's younger there so he doesn't look so uh, white bearded um, <clears throat> but there there's certainly things here which 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 match the text um, the hand showing acral gangrene of the fingers due to bubonic plague causes skin and flesh to die and turn black so because I was wondering in this first trumpet, there's quite a lot here. Uh, about a th third of the grass was burnt, and the earth was burnt, and all the trees were burnt. Now, there doesn't seem to be much burning in this time, although I don't know if after the plague if they burnt a lot of things. But, you know, if, if trees and grass and other things was an analogy towards people of different classes potentially um, but there we see the reference to to said blackness but the burn anyway All right and this sort of more obvious one here the foul and malignant sores that appeared on those men who worshipped the mark of the beast so whether the mark of the beast was around then whatever that might have been uh, certainly fits with the, the sores that people got during the plague so is there anything else there to do with the first we can just show the uh, a couple of a couple of pictures here the um, plague map so from the years 1346 to 1353 there was plague about now it was in a small area in 1346 and 1347 really 1348 saw it spread through mid Europe there 1349 it's all into Britain and southern Spain it's rife 1350 moving more that way and 
as we know the death toll was absolutely huge must have been a very shocking time a worrying time and uh, I guess you could say someone was taking advantage of it by having a little war uh, the hundred year war I think uh, should have checked that because I mean it was a hundred year war but um, you know it was certainly had breaks and stuff like that 1337 to 1453 so starting in 1337 ten you know good ten years before the plague but carried on 100 years right so I mean that I didn't want to do too much on the on the first one it's um, it's you know kind of a long time ago uh, difficult to check things and I, oh, I haven't done any work on the second one um, oops <laughs> let's have a look let's see why I haven't I think just because I was going into the third and the fourth and I was just it's just so much in my head that I needed to basically get some of this down get some of this out because do you know what I mean but this is finding some serious stuff and it's 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 going to spoil the plans of those buggers. So what happened during the... So after the second trumpet, we got a vision of the throne in heaven. So one sat on the throne, and we've got the opening of the... Or we've got the lamb that turns up and opens the seals. So I haven't looked for anyone in history. I just thought with Francis Drake being the first to circumnavigate the, the world... Was that the opening of the seven seals? You know, the opening of the seven seas. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one for the moment. I'll just leave you with the uh, the, the picture there. So while we talk for about a minute, I have to keep clicking. That is so annoying. It's free software, isn't it? Alright. So we'll move on to after the second trumpet. So in between the third. Have I done any on the third? Has it just been the fourth? It's just been the fourth. Alright, I'll give you another picture of the third. <clears throat> Let's have a quick look at this. Oh, you annoying little git. Right, where's undo? You are an annoying little git. <laughs> mm. Stop not letting me do stuff, you bunder. Oh, this is pathetic. I got something to say about AI, I tell you. You hang on, you'll find out. I'm getting there at the end. No, you spastic. <laughs> Why won't it let me insert a picture? There, yeah, it's a picture. Right, now you let me. Still have to do that. God, I've talked for about two minutes about crap now <clears throat> so in between the uh, 
second and the third trumpet. We've got we've got the holding the back the four winds. You see, so I thought that couldn't go. That could that could only come after the second trumpet. Because the was it the second trumpet was all about the seas and stuff, wasn't it? So then they want to seal the 144,000. So sort of hold hold on until we've sealed them all, and we got them all ready. And then there's a, a mighty angel wrapped in a cloud, pillars of fire. It's the one where he has to. Uh, the seven thunders speak, but then he's not allowed to write it down. Uh, there'll be no no more delay. <clears throat> and he ate the scroll, and it was sweet in his mouth and bitter in his stomach. So, you know, so that will all happen before 1805. Then you get the third trumpet. Right now. We go to the in between the fourth. So let's see. The fourth. Right, and the first thing we've got is the two witnesses. So, I spend a lot of time on this, eh? Now, this is the timeline we're looking at. Because, what did I find? What I found was, there's a specific, uh, there's a specific thing in the two witnesses text that There would be an earthquake. And it would kill 7,000 people. So here I found, you know, look at the earthquakes that had several thousand casualties. And it had here Galilee earthquake of 1837. So that's in between in between the third and fourth trumpets. So it's quite soon after 1805, which was the main part of the third trumpet. And it's in Galilee, which I kind of thought was interesting as well. Now there have been other earthquakes of 7,000. There's There was... Um, a year where there was two, one in Nepal and one in Turkey, but that was that was later on, that wasn't in between these two trumpets. So there's your earthquake. And so then we've got in the two witnesses We've got, I can't see it from there. I knew this wasn't going to be a good way to do it, but there we go. So we've got the, um, there's the earthquake at the end. 
verse 13, bottom right. Then we've got, so before that we've got uh, at the end of three and a days and a half, they come back to life. They'll be dead for three and a half days, so that's the same three and a half days. Um, and then we've got that they will prophesy for three and a half years, or it says 1260 days, which is the same as three and a half years. And I'm not sure if the three and a half years is a specific length of time. This is another section where it says 42 months, which is also three and a half years. Or whether three and a half years is just a undetermined amount of time, you know. It's this long. We don't know at this stage exactly how long it's going to be, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's that's possible. That's possible. So anyway, but if we go back before this earthquake, we come into um, 1833. Now, one of the if you're looking at the at the history things, one of the big things going on here at the moment. Um, one of the things going on here at the moment is the old Darwin, right? So Darwin, he is going around the world on the Beagle. Now I don't know why they're so amazed by this, you know, sort of like major historical thing coming up every time he lands at another port and leaves another port you know it's like it's like he's god or something <coughs> but it was it was making me wonder about what the two witnesses might be and i'm still not completely made up so i was thinking you know if there's two people okay so maybe one is science and the other one is something else so you know obviously during this time when uh, he's going to different ports and stuff. If that's in the newspapers, people know what he's doing. But mind you, his theories of evolution weren't really coming out just yet, I don't imagine. But maybe they were, or people were talking about it. Or if it was just, you know, destined to come up at some point. Um, and then you've got, we've got this big thing here. Now let's just look. We'll just have a look here. 1830 to 1842. So there was um, the, the abolition of slavery. Now it starts. It starts. Well, is it, there's, there's ancient things about when they're abolish slavery but you know the I mean it starts big time in 1800 80, but more in the 1830s certainly the peak of the abolishment of slavery but then was it really abolished you know or like this is slavery isn't it you own a person and, and and obviously you don't own for nothing, you want something out of them, you want them to work. So you have to look after them so that they're in a fit state to work. And then when slavery ends, you know, these people still continue pretty much with the same life. Their owners, or not their owners anymore, but their employers still want to look after them. So they have to give them enough money so that they can feed themselves. And okay, so you ended slavery, but did anything really change? <clears throat> and there was a guy called Nat Turner, and I thought, you know, maybe he's the guy who's who's uh, lying down dead in the streets for 30 days and you know, well, three and a half days, but has he got the power to to stop the rain or... All right, anyway, so, and I think, you know, can it be a person? How can it be a person? I know 
most people say oh it's Elijah and Moses and stuff because Elijah had the power over the weather and stuff like that and um, you yeah, know it's possible it's possible and I also think it's possible very possible that there are you know more than more than one meaning now what I got next after that thinking well maybe maybe it's not two people maybe it's uh, maybe it's a city because the the beast is a city and where the heck have I put that the beast not the beast the woman the whore right it basically says uh, later on in Revelation it says that the whore is a city so I'm thinking well maybe then the woman is a city as well and maybe the two witnesses maybe they're cities anyway she can't I don't know what, what have I done with these pictures oh, I just I didn't save any of them but I was looking about Chicago and um, the founding of Chicago was in 1833 And wow, what an interesting history Chicago's got. Actually, I was writing it down, wasn't I? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so there's a few other things that were happening. Uh, Spain recognised independence of Mexico. There was the pro proclamation of South Australia as a British province. So this is 1836. Colony Adelaide formally proclaimed uh, December 27th Stephen Austin founder of Texas dies so I want to look into Texas I haven't done that December 29th Johann Baptist Schneck dies now there was a Johann Baptist before Chicago but he had a different surname so I said if the earthquake was the 22nd of January going back seven days plus three and a half years I believe brings it to 9th of August 1833 which is when uh, Chicago was became a village and it was it, it wasn't stopping there it just grew and grew also Toledo in Ohio was uh, established pretty much in 1833 or during 1827 and 1836 England was taking Australia so Chicago is called so many things the miracle city open the prairies city of opportunity the lawless city city of the century 1837 Chicago incorporated as a city they brought they brought about machinery a harvester to uh, get more crops in to reap more uh, grain elevators the railroad this is a great reaper city Inven invented the disassembly line and this is with pigs but that inspired Henry Ford 1849 cholera uh, uh, outbreak lasted about six years uh, a massive amount of growth uh, 300,000 by the time of the Chicago fire of 1871 which made a third of the population homeless <clears throat> so yes, so uh, need to stick in a picture there, don't we? Of um, Chicago. I've been using Wikipedia quite a lot, and it's going mental at me. <laughs> thought I'd um, thought I'd done more pictures there, but. Uh, Okay. Sorry about this. Probably the worst video I've ever done. There we go. No, it probably isn't. I've done some pretty bad videos. <laughs> right, so that's the picture. I'm gonna have one. Well, chatting there is probably about three minutes long. Right. 
so then we've got the uh, so that brings us to that the two witnesses right so that's in the first section so then we come on to the dragon and the woman bit. Oh, you little bitch. Sorry. Oh, this thing's really annoying. Undo. Bring it back. Right. The dragon and the woman, and I was thinking, now, what's this all about, eh? What can all this be about? And he chases the chases the woman, and I don't know. I've just been thinking, I can't get Russia out of my head. Not only that, bloody Rasputin. <laughs> what is it about this guy? I can't get at me head. Now, I don't want to be flippant, but what is this software doing? It's rubbish. So the story goes, right? The dragon and the woman. And the dragon found that he had been thrown down to the earth. He went in pursuit of the woman who had given birth to the male child. So, okay, she has given birth to the male child. But the woman was given two great eagle wings to fly to the place of the wilds where for three years and a half she was to be sustained out of reach of the serpent. From his mouth the serpent spewed a flood of water after the woman to sweep her away with its spate. But the earth came to her rescue and opened its mouth and swallowed the river which the dragon spewed from its mouth. What, you know, what is that? What could that be? And the only thing, I mean, the dragon is the devil, right? The dragons come down to the earth. He's been. He's. He's. We've just had the fight with the angels and Michael, and the dragon doesn't have a foothold left in heaven, and he's he's sent down to earth, and you know it's woe woe to the uh, inhabitants of the earth, but they're kind of happy in heaven. Now, so haven't. I was I was watching you know documentaries and all the rest of it on stuff and the thing that uh, took my notice oh, this is so it has to be on there I can't it won't let me just bloody do it right. Keeps undoing this. All right. So now it's not. It's not. Well, it is written there that that Alexander is it the first or the second? I think that was the second. Yeah, that's what started it. Alexander the second was assassinated. And 1881, old Lenin boy. He was he was really uh, he was really doing his Bolshevik revolution of which I haven't got a picture. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with this timeline for a bit more. Um, you know what Lenin looks like, and this Bolshevik revolution and um, started in 1881. They got through 1900, just about. They thought this was that was very nearly the time, but didn't quite quite work out. Uh, hang on, when were they? When were they 
killed uh, so I think this one here is the one who died no that's the daughter why did I do this anyway like which one is the woman which one is the woman because you know that's that's a survivor and the woman survives right so but who doesn't survive is the the children of Nicholas II Nicholas II and his wife they all get killed and it was the child it was the first son of Nicholas II Alexei who needed the help of Rasputin and it kind of, you know it does say in the text that um, that uh, It does say in the text that the uh, the son, the boy, is is snatched up to God, and whether Rasputin coming in and stuff is what's doing that. <clears throat> now there are remnants of these women, and an interesting th thing I heard a while ago was. Um, was that the intelli the intelligence and I think it's probably social intelligence but anyway the intelligence gets passed down from the mother so you'll always have your mother's intelligence so if there's a certain intelligence about this woman she would pass it down through all her female offsprings so because it says the one to rule with an iron rod and that one to rule with an iron rod doesn't come out until much later in the history right then we have then we have you know today um, we know what's we the fifth trumpet's all about the the beasts the beast out of the sea and the beast with the two horns and they make the image and everyone worships the image and then I think we'll have so that's probably already been happening and I think then we'll have uh, the lamb on the Mount Zion the 144,000 just before the fifth trumpet that's why that's what I think that's what I think um, So then by the time we get to the 6th, it's 2090. And, you know, it's going to be a new generation. Now, look, I don't think the 5th trumpet is going to be that bad for most of us. I think, I think it's almost like not a woe for us anymore so much. If we are already living a bit better you know if we're not that interested in earthly things and stuff like that because the vial is going to be poured out on the seat of the beast so it may not be a bad thing at all but anyway just I suppose just say I'm going to wrap up because it's probably not a very good video and probably very rough oh, there's no picture of the seventh trumpet no. so In a sense, you know, everyone's able to, to make their own mind up, but um, I think I'm right. And the false prophet, because the false prophet, the beasts, the beasts and the false prophet get dumped into the eternal lake of fire. 
and then after the thousand years the dragon gets jumped chucked into the lake of fire now the beasts is empires so empires are no more so anything that gets chucked into the lake of fire is not a person not a human not a child of God the false prophet is AI how we rely on AI to predict things to show us the way to tell us what the truth is that's what the false prophet is All right sorry about that <laughs> maybe it wasn't too annoying okay bye